guys i am back from europe <laughs> i can't believe that i'm saying those words i feel like the trip just started and suddenly we are finished and i am home ignore my nails they are such a mess i just literally cannot be bothered to sit in the chair for a few hours and yet i'm done so you know it's not a priority of mine i please excuse also the way my head probably looks right now i just was filming a tiktok and i haven't even got up to see what the tinted moisturizer and um blush and bronzer looks like but i just did on my face i was looking in a tiny little viewfinder i just wanted to jump on and say hello really quickly i am back from europe i'm gonna give you guys a full rundown of the trip i'm so happy with our itinerary like it was literally perfect I loved the order of it. I love where we went. I love where we stayed. I just had such a good time and I truly can't wait to give you guys the whole rundown and, you know, give you all of the tips and advice and whatnot. I have still so many vlogs to come up when I'm filming this right now. I just wanted to start filming a vlog so that I do have one to go up after the, after or during, I don't know, maybe during the vlogs, but Either way, in a couple of weeks, this video is going to go live and you probably would have watched some of my vlogs already. Let me know also in this if you have any questions that I don't kind of like answer throughout. Back in Bali, very, very, very excited to go and see our house. Oh my God, Casa Suru. I'm so excited to see if you guys are new around here or you missed it. My partner and I are building a villa. It's not a villa actually. We're building a home in Dreamland, Uluwatu. It's absolutely incredible and I'm so excited. I haven't seen it obviously since before I left. So I haven't seen it for about five weeks now. And there is so much progress from the photos that I've seen while I've been away. So much progress has happened. So I'm so excited to go and see it and get an update. And pretty much just stare at it for like an hour, I would say. As builds go along, you can sort of get a feel of like what it's like. Obviously, you see the plans, but more of a feel of what it's going to look like, a feel of the size and everything. So, yeah, I'm just so excited to go in and see that. Also, I'm only here for two weeks and then I head back to Australia because I have one of my friends from school's wedding. So, that's like a big deal. It's so exciting. I'm so excited for her and I can't wait to see all my friends in Australia. I'm probably going to film over the next probably couple of days here. Um, while I am in Bali and then I'm definitely gonna vlog when I'm back in Australia as well I feel like over that like 10 days that I'm there I'll probably get a couple of the vlogs out anyway I'm gonna stop talking because I have a few things to do I just realized I probably look naked I'm not naked <laughs> but I thought I was talking to a different girl who knows exactly what I get, but I was talking to a different girl. Anyway, 
I didn't have enough time in the appointment that they allocated me to get my extensions so they just did a gel on what I had and I'm a cereal biter like when I tell you guys I bite my nails I'm so bad I bite my nails so much so this one's fine how do I how do the makeup artists do it so this one's cute like I think that's a nice length clean girl look like I'm into that if all my nails were that length and they could stay that length and I wouldn't bite them I would honestly keep it like I think that looks really pretty the problem is these ones that I've bitten are so short but anyway they actually did a really good job of them they're just so short so this is going to take a lot of getting used to but it's a step up from what I had which was no nails let's go back to the lashes I like my lashes like this like I feel like it's quite nice being fresh my issue with it is I was to take photos for a living so when I'm trying to get like really glam photos or like photos at night time, it just doesn't slap as hard when you don't have the lash extensions. And I'm not going to sit there and put strip lashes on, let's be honest. So that's probably my issue with it. Look at my little snacky. Yum. Who remembers when I used to have pickles and cheese all the time? Jade, Jade well, Jake just made me some pickles, cheese, and a little biscuit. They're like a barbecue sarkatar cracker kind of thing so good mm, i'm obsessed i have a dinner on tonight which i'm so excited about my friend michelle who lived in bali for ages has recently moved and she's coming back for my tits look so big is that a nipple they really push them together if you guys are looking for a sports bra that really does it for your boobs it's this one here so yes as i was saying my friend michelle is back for literally just two nights last night and tonight so we're going to be having a dinner which will be really nice i'm just like debating what to do right so i live in uluwatu Changu is it's not very far at all like kilometers wise it's not very very far but the traffic gets insane the traffic in Changu is just like it's literally mental it's so crazy and it's great that bali's driving like not complaining at all but honestly it's really like really hectic so you do have to allocate a lot of time to get down there it's obviously way faster on a bike but because i'm about to do my makeup i'm like i don't know i'm not driving down there without a helmet on because that's just fucking dangerous you drive so fast on the highway but then i've got makeup on so i don't know while i'm doing my makeup i'm going to marinate in that and decide what i'm going to do so i need to work out what i'm wearing and it's going to be something from this box i got a huge parcel ow oh, just hit my nose a huge parcel from White Fox, and I'm going to show you guys what I got from them. Some new pieces that I picked up. Some of the new stuff is so damn cute. So I'm going to show you guys that, give you a little mini haul of what I've got before I continue on with my day. I'm now going to, why am I puffing? I just have to run downstairs and get that box because I forgot it. Guys, that session was so difficult this morning. It was so hard. So I've done probably like, maybe it's a Saturday by the way. I've done like six sessions on a Saturday and they are tough but today because I think I've had so much time off it was really tough and I had Kiki Fraps, two of our friends and then Jake doing with me today that's the first time Jake's done a Saturday and it's the first time the others have done a Saturday so yesterday I was like we're doing a Saturday class did they die yes they died we all died but it was really really good makeup is now done I'm sorry guys that I didn't it on camera but i was filming a tiktok so kind of wanted to prioritize that makeup is all finished so makeup's done i need to work out what i'm wearing there's a fair bit in here three of these things i want to wear so i'm either going this color this color or wearing the pink again this is a dress where is it the pink comes in a top as well with a pair of pants so i think that's the three options of what i'm going to wear tonight there is a few other pieces like a bikini and one piece and stuff that i want to show you guys just because it's so so cute and it came in this parcel um but yeah i think that's the ones that i'm going to wear tonight discount code is tally xo as per usual it hasn't changed in years and years and years and it gives you 15 percent off everything on the website accessories all of that i'm going to change into the first outfit and then we can yeah work out what i'm wearing so pretty oh my gosh i'm literally obsessed with option number one it's stunning so i should mention as well the dinner is an all-girls dinner so i'm going like a bit dressy a bit fun drinks the girls a bit tipsy like that's kind of like the vibe of the night you know colorful as well 
is what I'm after. This dress is stunning. It hugs you exactly where it needs to hug you. It's super fitted. I'm going to place a selfie in here just so you can see where it ends. But it falls really, really nicely. Just to the floor, midi length. Gives you like room to walk at the bottom as well. Stunning. I love this. I feel like I'd have to keep these earrings I have on, these silver ones. Don't know if I mentioned it before, but I have gold jewelry on everywhere else. So I need to change the rest of it. But I think silver, probably with this silver bag. She's extra, but she's also cute. Option number one. Wow. Definitely going on the same theme here with the next choice. I feel like I probably actually might wear this one here just because it's a little bit more comfortable. I'm wearing the skirt low waist that I did wear this in LA in black and I did wear it in silver as well. This is one of the newer colors that they've come out with. It's so pretty. They did also have like a light pink color, but I don't know if that's sold out. Again, the skirt hugs you where you need to be. I'm wearing it low waisted, but you can wear it like a little bit more high waisted. I did actually tie the top back a little bit when I wore it with the black. I think I might wear this. I feel like I'd still use, I'd still use the silver bag, I think. Like I think that's the overall theme of what I'm after. But I feel like this is just a little bit more comfortable. So I'm probably gonna end up with this one. Comfort so you can see the material. Such a pretty cool orange. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, option number three, much more casual, but again, we're going with the sparkly colorful theme this top here i can wear it so many different ways so i sort of just tied it around like a basic way i can go back around like that i think that's cute I like that. or i can just tie it in like a knot like that i can just wear it straight across but i can make it shorter as well if i want like a little bit more stunning showing like I could go like that. I don't know. I think I'm, I think set. I would say, what do you guys think? But obviously you can't answer straight away. And I need to wear this tonight. So that's an issue. But yeah, I could wear it like that. And that looks cute. But I think, no, I'll save this for another time. I do love it with the pants. I feel like a casual pants with like a bit of fun top is really cute. But look, it's not for tonight. Let me show you the bottom of these pants. Because I love these pants. So you guys probably saw me wearing them in... Uh, Italy. I wore the brown version. It's like a brownie, linen-y type vibe. Had to get them in white. They are such a good fit. Like, they just fit so nice over your butt. So nice over the waist. Cute at the front. I just love them. They're really, really good. They're like a tailored pant, but then they're not like, they're not tight, you know? Loose linen vibe pants, and I am obsessed with them. Comfort, so you can see the like texture in the material stunning honestly if you guys like pants and i you need to get your hands on them my friend talia yeah. slash also talia who works for me she's obsessed with pants and i was like you really need to get these pants just because they just fit so nice over the bum so nice over the stomach like they're just really really flattering so i told her she needs to get her hands on these okay i think that's my decision i'm gonna wear the orange set i will show you the rest of the pieces i got though in this parcel next up i had to get this little baby tee it is in a soft pastel yellow color i'm loving yellow at the moment i feel like i always like yellow but just in general i'm definitely vibing it i got it to go with denim shorts also to chuck on with like more casual kind of Pants, I do also have another pair of pants. I'm going to show you now. So these pants, oh my gosh. They are so cute and comfy. Actually, I might show you these with a the bikini. These are another pair of pants you guys need in your wardrobe if you just love pants. So comfy. Different vibe. This is more like tailored, structured, a little bit more dressy. This is more casual. I love these. They're so cute. I also wish I had these in Europe. I do have this white box style in plenty of other colours, but I thought I would pick up a another colourway. Definitely gonna have to wear these to a beach club sometime soon. Stunning, extra small in the top. Does have removable padding as well. If you guys want to take that out, you can take that out. And then extra small in the bottoms as well. They're adjustable, obviously, on the top, around the neck. And then on the bottoms, I'm gonna show you the pants not necessarily with these like i feel like well i mean they'll definitely match but 
these pants with a plain white bikini, these pants with any plain color. Oh no, that looks good. I like that. Actually, it's better than what I thought it would be. Oh, these pants. Let me tuck these in so you can actually get the full effect of like what the pants are like. So you can wear them high waisted. We can wear them low waisted. I tend at the moment to wear my stuff like a little bit more low waisted. So that definitely would be the vibe that I would be going. You can do both. They have big pockets, which is nice. I like my pants to have big pockets, pockets well. To have big pockets that are like super functional. I like them. They're so cute. And they come in definitely white because I have white. Do they come in black? I don't think so, actually. I'm not too sure. Go on the website and have a little look if you want to have a look because they come in other colors and they just do great staples. I have a wardrobe, to be honest. Just a great pair of pants to shop on to go to the beach. We'll just be going out to the shops. And you just want Tali to get these ones as well because she will like these also. Why am I puffing? Why am I literally puffing? And last up, we're having a little one piece moment. So pretty. I have to show you guys. So it's out of a uh, crinkled fabric, big stomach cut out, ring here. I love rings. Whether it's on swim or like outfits, that's the back. Super flattering and comfy as well. It's not, I don't feel uncomfy. I don't feel restricted. It's a really good size for me as well. Don't know if I mentioned it, but all the pieces are extra small out of what I'm showing you guys. And they all feel really, really good. So cute. So it's like a mockery brownie kind of color. Anyway, I'm going to put some comfy clothes on right now. I need to go down, have some water, like I said, chat with Jake for a little bit, get something to eat. Then I'm going to go show you guys the villa. I am so excited for you to see the new updates on the villa. Like, so much has happened. So much has progressed. Like I said at the start of this video, so much has progressed while I was away in Europe. And, yeah, it really feels like an actual home now. It's got walls, the scaffolding's not downstairs, the scaffolding is started to be removed from the first floor as well. Also guys, so this is technically how you say it, right? So we've got the ground level, we have the first floor, and then we have the second floor. But that confuses me because if you're thinking second floor, in my head I'm thinking there's two levels, yeah? Like I feel like first level, third level, first level, second level, third level. I don't know, that's how I would say it, but... Yeah, Jake really wants to call it ground level. Well, we are, because that's what we've been calling it from the start. But, yeah, ground level, first floor, second floor. Like, I get it, it makes sense, but it also just confuses me. Because it seems like there's two levels, one and three. Anyway, I'm going to go show you the villa. We're going to go over and do that, and then I will come back, fix my makeup a little bit. I need to do my hair. I am just going to wear it in a low bun like this, but I'll just, like, fix it up because it's a little bit over the place. Fix my hair up, fix my makeup up, pop my outfit on, and then I will show you. Alright, I'm going to show you guys the back view. Sorry about the lens flares coming out of my camera. I don't know what is going on with it. This is my old camera. Um, so this is the back of it, just so you can kind of like see the height. So ground floor, first floor, second floor up there. And if I come over here, it's not. I'm shook at how tall it is. Like, oh my gosh. So from this back view, we've got the gym here. This is the cinema here. And then we've got where the spiral staircase is going to go here. That's all going to be closed in, but it's just obviously open for now so the workers can get in. But yeah, spiral staircase and like the entrance and stuff. So I'll come through here and give you guys a view. How interesting is this, guys? I just got bitten by something. I think it was like, I don't know, a bug. A spider jumped on me out of my helmet, but there's no true holes. So I don't know, it must have been an ant. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a view and show you the best I can. So this, if you envision, this is walking into the entrance of the house it's gonna be a nice big arch. Arch entrance, very dramatic entrance. And then you walk in around this pile of scaffolding. And we walk through. Straight ahead is the cinema room in there. So we have the rest of the entrance here. It's gonna be like big, dramatic. We're gonna have a big center piece on the ground here. Then you walk over this way, our big feature stairs will be there. They're gonna be so, so stunning. Like, oh my God, they look so beautiful in the CADs. And then here we have a guest bedroom. 
uh, laundry. This is just a pump room because above it is where our pool is. Then I walk over here and then we have the gym here. So this is the cinema room. It's gonna be epic and a big screen, a big comfy like lounge, chairs. All right, gonna show you guys what I can. We've come up on to the first level now. There's obviously a lot of scaffolding and whatnot. So it's a bit tricky to say I cannot wait for the scaffolding to go. And I can show you guys properly the outdoor area and the pool. Oh my God, the pool design is stunning. So coming through here, the scaffolding has started to be removed. I'll come back over to this corner. So if you envision here, this is gonna be our big walk-in pantry. And then over this way, you have the kitchen, nice long kitchen along the back wall. And then we have our six meter island bench top that goes in front of it. In that corner over there you have a bathroom so there's a bathroom on this level as well and then you have the dining so we have our dining table lots of glass all flows out into the entertaining area and then we have our entertaining area and our pool it's gonna be really really nice out there we've got like there's a cement wall obviously um gonna be built up there and we have like some hanging plants that are going to be hanging over the side, like a um, potter. What are they called? Plant potter. You know what I'm talking about. Over this way. So yeah, coming in from the pool and outside over here is our living area. So in this space over here, you guys are looking at the TV lounge here. It comes back to the staircase. So the staircase will then continue the spiral staircase up here. And that's where we go to the top level. And the top level is three master bedrooms. And then downstairs is the spare bedroom. Like obviously they're all gonna be spares. It's just Jake and myself living here. So our bedroom, I'll show you guys, will be up here. And that's gonna be our bedroom. Um, and then we'll have the other bedroom here and the other one here. We so I'm currently standing near where the TV is. Oh my God, my feet are so dirty, my shoes. Yeah, kind of standing in the living. We have another house over here that's Brad and Rihanna's. And then the other house you can see over through that way is the one that's for sale. So my partner's company is selling that one over there. Come through to the pool. And that's the tour guys. I will give you an update maybe in another two months time. I give updates over on the actual Casa Sue Instagram and my personal Instagram. But yeah, that'll probably do on the YouTube front for maybe another two months. Make sure you're following the ah! Wow. Well, make sure you're following the Instagram if you aren't already. The signs are so cool. It says Loka all the way around this next development. 100 meters of signage. So good. Also, while we're at it, you can't really see much, but Jake had to come check on this site, so I thought I would show you. This is one of the other developments that the Loka Villas, my partner's company, is building. This is the Moto Suites, and the first stage of construction is five two bedroom villas, and then there's five uh, three bedroom villas over here, and then there's at the front, which you can't actually really see the size of it from here, but the front part is going to be something else really epic. So, yeah, first stage of construction is now underway. Alright guys, I am off. I'm just waiting for my Gojek. I decided to get a bike because it is 5.30 now. So I'm it's at 7 and I want to get there like just after 7. That should be enough time to get there. But like I said, traffic is honestly crazy through Changu. So we'll see. I have my skirt here because obviously can't wear that on the bike. I just chucked on a random pair of shorts and I have the top on. I'll pop this on when I get off the bike. The shorts are like really small so I can tuck them into my bag. I decided to go with the silver bag and then i just popped on my watch that's the only change really a little gold ring that is because i'm going to tie the back of the top up when i get there um and that's all i'll speak to you guys soon can't see much because it's obviously dark now that i've gotten here but i got here in good time it's five past seven um i just quickly got changed in a back alleyway because i literally had those shorts on got changed pulled my hair back up it's lucky i'm wearing a slick one because having that helmet on was not it i didn't get a line though because i kind of like work pushed back um anyway i'm not going to talk to you guys for the rest of the night because i'm about to catch up with my friends <laughs> Honestly, it's 
is literally the monkey's world and we're just living in it. They're so cute though. They're just absolutely batshit crazy. Guys, they're actually so cute. Oh my god, my camera's taking so long to zoom in. This is an issue. <laughs> no one is game enough to walk down. So we're just waiting. Holy dooly guys, it is hot and spicy. I've got my little <laughs> Italian hat that I got in Italy. It's such a beautiful day. We've come to Padang. I haven't been to Padang in such a long time. I feel like because we always go to Dreamland or Bingen or Molasti, probably go to Molasti the most to be honest. We don't really come here. It's been such a long time, but it's such a cute little beach. And there's like cute little stands and stuff all at the back there. So we've come down here for the day. I've taken shards. I don't think I actually explained it to you yesterday, but I have my friend shards from Australia here. She's been in Bali for a little bit, but she was staying in Chenggu and Nusa Lombongan and has come to stay four nights with me. And then we actually go back to Australia at the same time. So I'm bikini of choice today is those white box bikinis that I did show you yesterday. I am so tired. I don't know why I'm actually so tired today. I think my body's just like exhausted from like training and we spent the whole day. We actually, which is so exciting. We actually went material shopping. I'm just like, I mean, I'm showing you just because they're in front of me. We went material looking for the house, which is so exciting. We just had to look at like tiles and marble and travertine. Um, that's like the first step of that kind of shopping so we did that i feel like i'm just like exhausted from being on the bike and i go to australia in a couple of days so i've been like getting myself ready for that i've got a hair mask in true by the way and also i've had shards over which has been so nice we've had some really nice catch up time it's the first time that she's come and visited me over in bali she's actually here for like two weeks and then she stayed four nights with me so yeah, it was nice to see her at the end of her trip. We have a wedding, so that's why I'm going back to Australia. I have the warehouse sale. I haven't even spoken to you guys on here, but if you are watching this, our warehouse sale is on Saturday, which is so exciting. The first time we've ever done a warehouse sale. You guys from the Gold Coast this Saturday, which will be the 2nd of September. Make sure you come over to the warehouse sale. We have crazy, crazy discounts. Um, products that haven't been launched yet we have samples one-off just like super cheap really big savings nothing's over 50 dollars i also have heaps of pre-loved clothing like lots of my clothes that i just do not have the space for and selling so yeah it'll be so much fun and it'll be so exciting to meet you guys so if you're on the gold coast brisbane and byron anywhere around then it's 8 30 to 12 30 um and it's at my sister's warehouse, Milky Space. Leave the address in the description box for you guys um, in case you do want to come. But yeah, it'd be really fun. I'm so excited to meet you guys if you do come on Saturday. My schedule when I'm back in Australia is literally nuts because I'm not there for that long. I just like am trying to fit everything in. I have the wedding and then the next day I'm leaving at 7 a.m. I have the earliest flight to leave which is a Jetstar flight I'm leaving at 7am because it is my boyfriend's 30th that day and I need to get home to him it's like such wild timing that the wedding's the day before we have some friends over here he's got some friends where he's from um, who are coming over to visit so yeah they're all gonna be here when I get back here I land at 11 30 so I'm hoping that the airport isn't too busy so I can come home see him give him his presents wish him happy birthday and then we have a birthday dinner with um just some friends over here and just a few friends that are busy nice and chill but it'll be really really nice so that's my plan i have so much stuff to tell you guys you should see look it's for a later date if you want to see it but you should see the list of stuff that i'm buying when i'm on the gold coast it's so like so much stuff lots of food items 
that you can't actually get over here. I mean, you can get most things over here. It's so fine. But just a few, like, food items you can't get, including, like, the chocolates and stuff that I absolutely love. So I definitely will be stocking up on those. Heaps of things. I've got to get, like, vitamins, skincare, um, makeup. I'm going to do some stock ups. Lots of stuff. My books. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to get my books, guys. I haven't read since Europe. So I'm very, very excited. When I finish those two books in Europe, I haven't had any kids, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna finish this vlog up here, guys, because I'm actually gonna sit down. What is that noise? I think it's fireworks. There's always fireworks we can hear from my house. Um, I think it might be at a hotel, but I'm not too sure. Also, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. The other morning, we woke up, and I could feel like movement and noise, but I was like half asleep, so I was confused. And I could hear a dog barking, but it was like sort of in my dream. I don't know. And then I saw Jake was sitting up and I was like, what? And I like looked over at him. This is like in the middle of the night, by the way. And um, the whole room was shaking. The bed was shaking. The wall, like the um, cupboard was shaking. There was an earthquake. There's been heaps of earthquakes while I've been over here. I mean, not heaps, but maybe like three or four probably while I've been like either a living here or just over the years that I've been visiting Bali but I've never felt it I've never woken up to it but this one was a 7.1 magnitude I googled it as soon as I woke up we went back to sleep after we realized like Jake was like it's an earthquake and I was like fuck and we sort of just like looked at each other for a moment and then it stopped and the dog stopped barking so we're like okay we'll go back to sleep um but then in the morning I googled it yeah 7.1 magnitude which is really big but it was in the ocean so I don't think there's much damage. Well, I don't think there was any damage, actually. I hope there was no damage, but I definitely didn't see it, like, in the news or anything. I'm going to stop rambling now because it's really late. I'm going to edit this video for you guys now, and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm just so tired. But I just really want to get this video edited and uploaded. So I will get that done, and I will speak to you guys soon in the next video. Actually, we're going to go back to Europe vlogs. I still got another few Euro summer vlogs. The Mykonos one, which I feel like is going to be so much fun. That vlog is going to be our next. And then probably do the Gold Coast trip vlog after that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you next time.